Life Skills Part 1 Introduction. So this is for my Life Skills class. These are my two sons, Noah and Rory. I'll have them introduce themselves and then we will get started. Hi, my name is Rory Halkett and I'm 11. Hello, my name is Noah Halkett. I'm 15. Okay, so we're going to start off. The, the course is about self-esteem and self-confidence. Do you know what self-esteem is? No. What do you think self-esteem is, Rory? No clue. What do you think it is, Noah? How you rate yourself in the world. Okay. What do you think self-confidence is? In how, like, like how, like, how confident you are in yourself. Yeah. Okay. Noah? How much courage you have or to do stuff that you're afraid of. Good. So self-confidence is individual subjective evaluation of their own worth, how you feel about yourself. Self-esteem encompasses beliefs about oneself as well as emotional states such as triumph, despair, pride, and shame. And self-confidence is a state of being clear-headed either that hypothesis or prediction is correct or that its chosen course of action is the best or most effective. Confidence comes from the Latin word Fidir, which means to trust. So it's trusting in yourself and having confidence in yourself. So understanding uh, self-esteem sentences, we're going to go over them one by one on the worksheets, and we're just going to talk about them. The self-esteem sentence stems worksheet is a template that you can use, sharing and writing down emotions and thoughts to be beneficial approach to discovering any personal issues impacting your own self-esteem. Okay, so we're going to start with Rory. I have always wanted to be a famous lacrosse player and be fit. Okay, I've always wanted to be a famous lacrosse player and be fit. Good job, Noah. I don't have anything. You don't have anything? Something that you haven't always wanted to do? No. What about swimming? I did it. <laughs> did you want to improve on it? Yeah. But I'm going to hold on so I can't really. Okay. What are you secretly afraid of, Rory? I hate bugs and spiders. What are you secretly afraid of in, of yourself, though? Like, like, why do you think you can't achieve your goals that you've always wanted to do? Because I'm small and want to be taller and bigger. Okay. Noah? I don't know. I'm secretly afraid of the water. You are? Yeah. I hate sea monsters. Oh, and that. Okay. Really Let's move forward. Places. So you don't want to swim in water that's where you can't see, but you're good in the pool. Mm, kind of. Okay. <laughs> Let's think of something that you did good this week that you enjoyed doing. So something you enjoyed doing this week. For the last seven days, what was something you enjoyed doing? Um, doing lacrosse since I didn't go against bigger, like, bigger people. Yeah. Well, you know what? I enjoy going to work. Well, what do you enjoy about going to work? What do you often look forward to, Noah? Sleeping. What else? I mean, sleeping's good. Sleeping is healthy because it helps you grow. It helps you nurture your body. What else? Dinner. Dinner's good too because it helps you grow and helps nurture your body. Roy, I often look forward to? Playing video games. What else? Across. Mm-hmm. Ball hockey. Cool. Cool. I feel something <laughs> that the future holds for me is. What do you think your future holds for you? Future? Yeah, the future. Cooking. Cooking? What does that mean? He enjoys cooking and he thinks he's going to do more of it in the future. Oh, more of that in the future. I'm going to do 
more working out. Yeah, to get fit. Mm -hmm. To get bigger for lacrosse. More practice for lacrosse. Good idea. And ball hockey. Those are great plans. Now, stop. I'm going to give you each a book this week. Mm -hmm. They can write things down. about self-esteem, things that you like about yourself, things that you want to work on. Okay. Okay? So yeah. these are your books. Oh, uh, yeah. But... Okay? And you're going to write something that you like about yourself every day and something you think you can work on every day. And I want you to try and be, um, be hard on yourself. Push yourself, push yourself out of your limits, but be kind to yourself, too. Can I, like, talk about some of the stuff that I'm going to do. Yeah. Um, so I'm mostly going to try and work out, go for runs and stuff, and go for long bike rides, and work out on my arms, and that's working out on my legs and stuff, or do push-ups, sit-ups and stuff. Good idea. Good idea. Oh, Is that going to help make you feel better? Mm -hmm. Is that going to help you in your lacrosse? Yeah. Is it going to make you stronger? Nope. I'm thinking, yes. Yeah. Okay, so remember this week we're going to work on one thing that you're good at and one thing that you want to try harder at, okay? You got to buy some weights. Yeah. Okay. You have weights. We should put okay. a treadmill in the middle over here. Okay. Thank you guys for helping me out.